So for the past 100 years or so, the collective belief has been that once you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic. Uh, you're, you need to abstain forever. There's no such thing as turning an alcoholic into a moderate drinker. And this has largely been true because once somebody learns an alcohol addiction, it has changed their brain. And when the brain has been changed in that way, it becomes really difficult for these people to control how much they drink. One drink will turn into a binge. However, there's two really important things that people need to be aware of. One is that there are extremely effective treatments that exist today that work to repair alcohol addiction at the root level, which is actually inside of the brain. And number two is that while abstinence-based treatments work for some people, if you look at the data, it shows that actually it's failing the majority of people. It's estimated that 80% or more of people will relapse after leaving treatment within six months. And so even though abstinence does work for some and is the best option for some, there's a large uh, number of people out there who are continually struggling with alcohol addiction, again, due to those changes that have happened in their brain that's really driving them to drink compulsively and excessively and really struggling to quit drinking. And the fact of the matter is that there have been effective treatments around for nearly 30 years that most people don't know about, like naltrexone following the Sinclair method, that works to fix alcohol addiction at the root level, which is actually neurologically in the brain. Because when we develop an alcohol addiction, nobody is born with it. Yes, some of us have genetic predispositions, so we are more uh, prone to developing an addiction, but nobody is born that way. And so it's a behavior and a pattern that is learned over time. And when we learn it with enough repeated drinking over time, it changes our brain. And when you use naltrexone and the Sinclair method, it works to correct this issue at the root level, which is neurologically, and it corrects it by actually continuing to drink, which I know sounds crazy, but you take naltrexone before drinking and it's an opiate blocker medication. So it's gonna be blocking the reward that your brain experiences when you drink. And when someone does this over and over again, over many, many months, what happens is that over time, they actually unlearn the alcohol addiction and their brain gets restored back to the state it was in before they had alcohol addiction. And when that happens and when someone is no longer wired to crave alcohol and wired to binge drink alcohol, Alcohol, they get to a place of regained control. A lot of people I meet, including myself, get to a place of indifference where, sure, they might still drink, but they're doing it socially, they're doing it moderately, and they do so with control. They no longer binge drink. They might have one or two uh, once a week, and then they're done with that. And I often hear that people believe that this treatment can't work for real alcoholics, but I've seen it over the last six years work for mild, moderate, and severe alcohol addiction.